put yourself into the middle of the triangle or project out from and through the middle of the triangle. What are your impressions? I was um, I I was looking at the middle there of the triangle and I see uh, like a half a moon appearing. So I just, uh, it just brings me to these little stones that um, came from a, a private cemetery. Um, I just feel like they'll be present when... I think it'll be the quarter moon. I think it'll be about the quarter moon um, uh, when this is going to be in. We have the Achadrach, Achaduturach, Tamarhaz of Achav, Yahwa, Tazbout, Mishal or Mikal. Uh, there's four variations, whether you want to have a wow or a ya, a ya or whether you want to have the sheen or the or the calf or whatever, but um so it's the it's it's manifestation, but it's almost like in some mythologies it's the it's the manifestation through hell or in or 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 uh, so out of or into or whatever. Um, so it's sort of a reference there. Um, some people think that even more than than Samhain, um, I mean actual Samhain, not Halloween. Um, it was the uh, the like some sort of uh, time for you know the spirits to come forth and that sort of thing, and you dance with the fairies or whatever you want to call them. And, Oh, people get all too fluffy about their idea about the fairies, and it's not like that at all, really. Um, and here, of course, we have, uh, I, I used the hemp rope, and two stones, very particular, that one would want to symbolize the afterlife in the ancient Egyptian system is uh, carnelian. Carnelian is sort of the heart. Um And so we have the drill sergeant gray Nexian chant, the and my particular 14 words chant, we must strive for the existence and future of our people and our children. And we have the, on the stone that I've specifically carved for this, oh, uh, that I specifically painted for this season. We ha also have the rune for defense. So Zo, uh, the, the, the uh, well, so, uh, so defense and homeland. Um, and of course we have the sigil of the temple of blood, um, and to get into some of these verses for the seasonal, if you have any further ideas. This makes a lot of sense to me because here lately I've studied, I've been really throwing myself into some uh, some studies on some necromancy and vampirism and uh, astral bodies. And so, yeah, it just um, 
I feel like things are, are just pulling together and uh, learning a lot. And, you know, um, now there, there's, there's stuff that people would go through, you know, it's, it's like, you know, my, my impact, you, you, you want to have an impact. It's, it's not that you're necessarily going to injure yourself or something, but it's, you know, uh, you, you want, you want to feel things. Um, and Okay, so we have 234, translate something like, remember when we asked the angels to bow in homage to Adam, they all bowed but Iblis, who disdained and turned insolent, and so became a disbeliever. So just like I've pointed out before, a demon is not, cre it's, it's like that's why there's this idea of this counter creation or something, because it's like the demons were... The, the idea is that demons weren't created they were chosen uh, i mean they chose to be what they're what they are so that's the one thing is that they said well i'm not a human and i'm not going to bow to humans so um and we have 6 43 Then why did they not submit when our punishment came upon them? But their hearts were hardened, and Satan made things they were doing look attractive to them. Um. Okay, that's why. So there's 15 verses. You know, the Order of Nine Angles has their um. Which which one do they put for number for for 15? I don't remember at the second um okay i have emanations path 15 is philpecula but the tarot card number 15 they still have they fell as number 15 so noctulius but it's path one as the weird pathways um so that's why so you still end up with 15 but for some reason um, when I looked it up this time, so I did get the right number right another time when I was looking, when I did my program, they just uh -huh. included this verse because it's, there's a lot more shayatin, shaitan verses, but they decided to include that one. So I slightly messed up in how I said that, but I'm going to still include that because, um, and so 711 Verily, we created you and gave you form and shape and ordered the angels to bow before Adam in homage, and they all bowed, but Iblis, who was not among those who bowed. So those who had choice, the humans, well, there wasn't really the human thing going on yet, except there, I mean, there was human, but um, yeah, so he was a different sort. The, th the beings that had no choice, they just went along with it. Um, so 15, 31, and 32. Except Iblis, he refused to bow with the adorers. How is it, Iblis, said that you did not join those who bowed in homage? And then he explains and says, hey, I'm not immortal. I respite. So, you know, all this stuff where people talk about 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 torturing and killing demons and stuff like that. It's just like, well, the non-human ones, the non-whatever ones, no, that's just just whatever. They they could put on a show for you, but if if that's if that's what their game is or that's what your game is, and they're trying to please you or something, but um, yeah. <laughs> but there's also not this ghoul thing. Where, I mean, uh, you can give yourself over psychosomatically and all this stuff, but there's no spirit out there forcing you to do things against your will. You make the choices that you're going to make, um, even if you're in a, a, a spiritual com com compact with them, you're going to do or not do as a part of that, whatever you personally choose to do. Not, you know, I've told people like, Back when I was one of the administrators for the uh, 
for for a series of groups actually, but the for the for the Devil's Quran book, a uh, uh, Facebook group was pretty big. Um, it was it, it was one of those groups that was so big that, that you know it's it's barely able to stay open basically. And but people would ask questions. It's like no, you don't have to do. Uh, uh, the people just r rush into the idea that they feel like they have to do horrendous things. And that could be why the uh, why things eventually got taken down because it's like it's not it wasn't any fault of the group run, the people running the group or whatever it was right. just, it was just that people would ask ridiculous questions like that some of it was serious some of it had to be trolling but you know um, and I I told you somebody commenting on my channel today and it's like what, yeah. what, there, you know um, if if we're defining ourselves as just having to not be uh, whatever the mundanes do, uh, do, we're going to not do that, or we're going to do, or we're going, or we're going to do something that they're not going to do. Then we're just defining ourselves conservatively in their terms, right. you know. Um, so one has to wonder about that way of thinking. Um, it's, it's ridiculous how much you know misinformation and ignorance. That, and yeah, know, people really people happening. feel like they. Okay, uh, 1761, when we asked the angels to bow before Adam, and they all bowed but Iblis, who said, can I bow before him who you created from clay? And then we find out he was formed from a different type of matter. So the Yazidi, they talk about the merging of fire and clay. So the clay beings are the humans and the other things that physically incarnate, and they are the other beings. And it's interesting, and that kind of gives you clues how you're going to see them. You look for those contrasting times and places of the light and the dark of the flame. You look at the black of the at the edges of the black of the flame, and you, uh, you know. So there's there's ways like that that you can figure out how to be more likely to see them. And speaking of taking stones and all that stuff out in the woods. Um, you know, you might want to be careful to maintain your things. You don't need to replace things every every time your magic rings and all that because you, you know, drop something. So you you know, um, but I, I've had that one thing that I dropped the other time for quite some time, and I know where it is. So uh, generally, so should eventually be able to find it. Uh, Eighteen fifty, when we said to the angels, "Bow before Adam in adoration," they all bowed, but Iblis. He was one of the jinns and rebelled against his Lord's command. It, and yet you take him and his offspring as your friends instead of me, even though they are your enemies. How sad a substitute for the evildoers. So again, they violated some terms, those that are working with the jinn. Now, jinn is a hidden being. The ancient Egyptians also had that idea. They were hidden. They were invisible. And we find out that they were made of fire. You see, in the ancient Egyptian, you have the glyph for snake, you have the glyph for a pot with the flames sticking out of it and stuff like this, and this is how they represent the spirit. So if you step outside the Christian thing where you say angel and you don't know what it, it's like the devil and his angels, it's like, yeah, but that makes it so you have no idea what angel means. Even if you classify it as anything spiritual, angel, you know, so you don't even know if you're encountering a human and it's, you know, but in, in the other languages, you can tell the difference. There's a difference between an Asura and a Devi. There's a difference between a Dava and a Ahura. You know. So these other mythologies kind of make it a lot clearer. Um, and one of the things that the Yazidi say is that it's... Um, Whatever you do or don't do, basically, is their idea. So it's up to you what type of actions or non-actions that you want to connect to the whole thing. Um, 20, 116, when he said to the angels, bow before Adam, and they all bowed, but Iblis, who refused, and... 23, 77. So that when at last we open up the gate of severe punishment on them, 
they will be overwhelmed with despair. And we have Moob Lassoon as that ending word. So it's lost hope of something, but we found out that going along with that created order, just being, just being, you know, those beings wanted to make themselves distinct from those uh, light beings. So that's what they did with that. And so 2695, I mean, so whatever side people want, uh, together with the hordes of Iblis. And one of the things that we find a lot is this mention of legions. In the West, we get obsessed with which number of legions. Like Aleister Crowley said that with my work, Belial now has 80 legions when he used to have a different number, right? Um, and other other sources kind of do that sort of thing. But in other cultures, they, they don't get so nitpicky about the numbers. They may say that something is worth more than another, but, you know. Um, and so 3012, the day of resurrection comes and the sinners be overwhelmed with despair. Now, in English, our word, for, I'm not saying anything about the language here at the moment, but in English, we have the word sin coming from words for mistake. The ancient Egyptians, their word S and N meant mistake. And like one of the things that happens in June in our country is this whole pride thing. And they're claiming to be just better than everybody else and they're, you know, whatever. But the uh, that, that's that's really what it means when they're saying pride. But they're saying that what they're doing isn't a sin. So that doesn't, you know, um, so it's it's sort of along that line. And, well, I mean, there's no, but there's despair when you're filled with regret about whatever. And, you know, some people, that some things people should have regrets. Regrets are perfectly natural. Yeah. And 3049, although it came down before they were despondent and mobilist scene again. So there's those hidden mentions of Lee. So there's 15, uh, you know, so there's 10, 10, uh, I, I mean, there's 10 and there's five. So there's 10 uh, very explicit mentions. And then there's five mentions that if you read it in the original language, which that's why if you're gonna use text magically, you know, because there's different ways of using text. You can use it de devotionally. You can use it magically. You can use it atheistically, sort of be uh, masked uh, or psychologically or whatever you want to call it. And you can mix all three. That, that's one thing that people mess. It's like you can mix all three. You don't have to make a choice. Um, right. 3420. Thus, Iblis found his supposition about them to be true, and except for a section of believers, they follow him. Now, I have, of course, brought up my idea that there's sort of there's sort of like two religions, and people's like, oh, but Satanism is a religion. It's like, yeah, it is. Um, you just got to look at what the word religion means. And honestly, if people want to be part of, a, 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 if they want to have churches with authority uh, with authority structures in the same sort of way whatever that's that's on them um and if people don't they want to be solitary like when i a, a couple years ago when i declare when i did that video declaring open my drill sergeant gray nexian i didn't know that there was going to be any physical contact with with either the old guard or anybody else that there was ever going to be any publicly released stuff except my comments ever again I had no idea there was going to be anything more at that point. That was that was it. But I was fine with that because it wasn't about it being popular or it being not being popular. Um, it was, I guess, maybe it's some some respect good that I came into the whole thing when it wasn't um, uh, when when it wasn't at its peak. But you know, because um, because as you know from my channel, I started reading into that stuff before. Um, the more formal fall, but uh, the, so it's 3874, except at least he was filled with pride and turned non-believer and 75 said, well, God, uh, oh, at least what hindered you from adoring what I created by my own authority? Are you too proud? Are you too high and mighty? Now, the thing is, yes, okay, he, uh, this goes on about how he's better than him and he's created from something different and all that stuff, but 
it's not the story that you see mentioned in some of the poetry where it's like, oh, well, Satan was the true monotheist because it, it's like, no, Satan was not asked to treat humans like gods. He, he just wanted the humans to work with him in a different way than this way. And that, that I mean, it, it's not, you know, you know what I mean, but it, it's, it's like, it wasn't, it wasn't that he was like somehow knowing God's way better than God or something like that. That's not what it, the story's saying. Just like in this chapter also, we have a story about Abraham. And it doesn't say that Abraham got the dream or the command from God. He just assumed. I'm a prophet. I have dreams. And therefore, you know what I'm talking about, this, the killing of the firstborn. Now, right. yeah. in the Bible, it's sort of clear that it was ishmael in the first place because ishmael was the oldest son you don't take your toddler mountain climbing and so uh, and you don't ask his advice on dreams and everything else and you don't and it's like uh, what you know the the and the uh, so the teenager probably was the one carrying his mother probably whatever so they tried to change the story to make it sound like he was the younger one like all of a sudden the mother really the mother's carrying the teenage son through the desert what type of um uh, but, right. and, you know you know there, there's some holes in that story but anyways it was it was abraham's fault that he interpreted the dream he did and he's like no no there's a goat all along it's sacrifice a goat what's wrong with you um so, somebody make that into a meme sacrifice a goat what's wrong with you uh, <laughs> um <laughs> And yes, I have sacrificed a goat before. Um, 4375. And no, it's not the type of animal cruelty that you find when you buy food at the supermarket or the fast food or whatever. It's not the same thing. Um, 4375. And it will not decrease for them. Done with despair, they will stay in it. So you don't want to become too appetite. Um Yes, you don't make it about your motivation for pleasure and pain or away from pleasure or pain, but you don't, um, you know. So let me see where we are. Okay. Um, and so to reiterate part of what we have here is the thing. We have won in the night with the pulse of our fight. As the created forces are wed, we pollinate by longest light. The blue and golden gates are opened by increasing might. The diamond of our kingdom bears the crown beyond light. The disproportionate features of the Tikbalong, Tapre, and Manangangal, move with us, and we're not in fright. And thematic-wise and otherwise, I will move with the idea of those um, uh, mythical monsters, you can say. And so over time, I will look at that. And so we move on from... I don't know if you can see on the screen. You can see on the screen I'm holding up the book. And so we yeah. moved here. And so numbers <clears throat> 22. Twenty-two and thirty-two. And I think we're going to run into a reference of why. Okay, but God was insensitive as going, so an angel of the Lord placed himself in the way as an adversary. He was riding on his she donkey with two servants alongside. Now, what is the word here that. Shuthan, okay. So it's not it's not adversary. It's again somebody that's a scourge. Um, but you know, the scourge is not always conflicting to the way of what should be, as the verse indicates. And 
The angel of the Lord said to him, Why have you beaten your donkey these three times? It is I who came out as an adversary, for the errand is obnoxious to me. Now, I've used these verses in my Balaam Goetia right before, because I, of course, wanted the whole Balaam. Is, is it Ein? Uh, where's the Ein? Uh, okay, let me double check here. Blam, blam, yeah. Um, so it's slightly hidden. So if you're not, if you're only reading it in English, some of that passage will be hidden to you. Um, and First Samuel twenty nine four. Okay, where is it? Feel free to throw in any comment at any time. So the Philistine officers were angry with him, and the Philistine officers said to him, Send the man back, let him go back to the place you assigned him. He shall not march down with us to the battle, or else he became our adversary in battle. For with what could that fellow appease his master? if not with the hands of these men. So delegating power, but you become as a as a continual scourge to those that are not on your side. And uh, Philistine is not really what their tribe was. There's a lot of twisting. Um, Holsh is a wanderer. Team is, so for uh, the, the ones for Tiamat, so that that's something that most people don't get is the is the mention of Tiamat in the Bible, um, and you know these are well established myths. I mean, as as far as the impact they have on people. So, mm -hmm. you know, what verse was that that mentioned Tiamat? Uh, First Samuel twenty nine four. Any of those Palestinian ones, whether it's the Tun or the Tum. Um, tum tum, our tun is uh, uh, is uh, our tum are, uh, is the older variation of Timon. and so Leviathan, Leviathan, uh, Leviathan is again it's related to Tiamat, so it's a secondary entity to Tiamat. If you saw my vision that I shared of my world beast, uh, that's kind of in that category. And I've sent you the graphic, so and and it'll be on this, be in the meme of the thing. First Samuel nineteen twenty two is okay. Where is it? Thereupon, Abishai, son of Zeruia spoke up, shouldn't Shimei be put to death for this, insulting, insulting the Lord's anointed? Ah, huh, that doesn't sound like it's the right one. Um, oh, but maybe it has the it has the thing. Oh, because uh, he because uh, if he was the um. But it doesn't matter what you say, you know, um, the idea that you're going to be killed. Uh, okay, the next verse, the next verse. Okay, it's the next verse that we're looking at. But David said, what has this to do with you, sons of Zariah, that you should cross me today? Should a single Israelite be put to death today? Don't I know that today I am again king of Israel? So, yeah, if somebody says something offensive, even religiously, you know, if it's part of your Keith and kin, you know, there, there's something to be said for not killing them. The, Bi the Bible wants you to kill for blasphemy and apostasy and everything else. And then they accuse every other religion. Oh, no, it was really the other guys that did that. And it's like, no, no, that, that was some biblical stuff going on right there. Um, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so first <laughs> Kings, I don't know if we'll be able to finish all this in this portion. Uh, five four.
for he controlled the whole region west of the Euphrates, all the kings west of the Euphrates, from Tifsaw to Gaza, and he had peace on all his borders all around about. Um, I four. Okay, that doesn't sound right. Uh, okay, let me look at this. Kings, first kings, five four. Okay, because that that's what I, that's what I'm showing here. And four or five doesn't sound like it has an adversary. Um, but the okay, the verse the verses of the 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 thing of the chant that very specifically refers to uh, Temple of Blood stuff is separated by oneself from the mundane and their idolized situation? Not quite. Our trainers know how to make us tight, straining and applying like a kite that feeds unexpectedly as we dight. We are enacting what they write. Some are alone in their plight. We have survived as something else to break through boundaries as is our right. The dead and a causal, celestial, celestial, terrestrial, and the infernal have their delight. Dark ones come to earth at the height. We are among them in our very might. A physical transfer is effected in and beyond the right. Are you ready for the dread light? Fully triggered. It is beyond sight. Pulse through the trance, all bright. This is their name from the stars. And... <coughs> if you have any thought with that, hold on. Um... Okay, First Kings eleven four. It's Job where we get the thing explicitly where the mention of Satan is in Job. So I think that's where it starts. But everywhere we we have the root, and maybe there's mm -hmm. a variation of that one verse that that I uh, you know five four. Maybe that was the variation. Um, maybe it's a little bit different verse numbered in the one or the other. But 14 and 1st Kings, um, and we'll, we'll do some, uh, some of this in a further program. We're not going to finish here. Okay. So the Lord raised an adversary against Solomon. The Edomite Hadad was the royal family of Edom. So again, um, now sometimes multiple sides are wrong. You know, because that's one of the things they like to get at you with is that some uh, it's like, oh, well, one side was right. It's like, no. One wrong side was rose, risen against another wrong side in one eleven twenty three. I mean, at least how the story goes here. Right. Another adversary that God raised up against Solomon was Razan, the son of Eliada, who had fled from his lord, King Hadad Ezer of Zoba and okay, so the language is a little different, but Azar. Um, well, Q U N, so 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 they did make them, themselves as sort of a Satan compared to Solomon, I guess, and 1125. Um, so you said you were reading some references 
about this? Do you remember anything else that they were saying in your in your book about the summer solstice? There was just so much. Um, I mean, no offense to you know anybody that can, you know studies new age or anything, but I, I didn't really grab on to a lot of uh, of the the book I was reading because it, it was just it had too much of the new age <laughs> um, content in it. And uh, I, I just can't connect with that new age. <laughs> um, I mean, there, there's um, always there's always been people who have had faith in the objects rather than the, um, you know, rather than their methods and the spiritual entities per se that they could be working with. Um, it's, it's something interesting it about. An adversary, uh, okay, uh, let me let me verse twenty five and. Um, he was an adversary of Israel all the days of Solomon, adding to the trouble caused by Hadad, you know, because they worshipped Baal and Baal Hadad. So there'd be people that would name themselves after the thunder God and all that stuff. Um, he reputed the authority of Israel and reigned over Aram. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of it, a lot of it's is trying to buy. Uh, it's like, how can we be nicer than the Christians or or or, or something? Is is that is that what you mean? Like, are they actually think that they were run, running naked through the forest and in whatever uh, wh whatever mosquito run or what or, or hot or cold weather that they were come up, come across and um, even uh, even that one person that you know. The world is life is guy and it's like well you're running around naked in the forest probably on the edge of getting arrested and you're still wearing boots so don't don't claim this it's, it's like oh is this is how you're supposed to be on that it's like you're wearing boots if anything that's more unnatural it's just running around almost naked except for your shoes fit for them feet <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, Second Chronicles, might as might as well. Um, oh, and the order is different. The order is different when we're talking about tonic. So Second Chronicles twenty one one. Um, oh, I'm I'm cutting things real short here. Um, First Chronicles. Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, and he was succeeded as a king. Um, uh, that doesn't. Oh, first, it was First Chronicles. First, first Chronicles. Chronicles. Okay, that's okay. That could be what happened with the kings. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. First Chronicles 21. Satan rose against Israel and incited David to number Israel. Well, when they caused problems among themselves, then that paved the way for other problems to be to come within them, right? All right. Um So five, five still does not read like that. And I guess I'll talk to you another day to go into the 